Hey, what's up, guys? It's Uber Hybrid, and so basically, I haven't made a video in a while just because of the fact that YouTube's been troublesome in the past week, and whenever I try to upload a video, it slows down the internet so much that it gets processing, and then because it's so slow, you can't actually get through the processing. So it's been pretty frustrating, um, not gonna lie. But uh, finally pulled through and just take some time to get working but it's all right I'm trying my hardest to actually get videos out I I don't think this series is gonna go by uh, very fast anymore I'm already level 131 as you can see so yeah that's good news I guess so basically what I'm doing here today is showing you guys my new farming spot which is at the 10th anniversary event um, the weapon I'm holding, obviously. You need to be a guardian to do this. Just go to Essences, uh, beat them all. It does take some time, but then once you get the item, the uh, Dragon Blade or Dragon Staff, whatever you choose, you can come here and fight them. So it's very nice. It's really quick. It takes about 8 to 10 minutes, 7 to 10 minutes, about every time just to finish this. It gives you a load of XP, like a ton. So once you get that uh, Dragon Blade, just come here. Um, it's a breeze like these are really easy monsters and doesn't take much time at all to beat and it's great for farming anyways so you see that I'm level 130 and I'm using dual pole Lala the last time I updated you guys I was like level 110 and it was like a week ago so I'm progressing really fast and most of that well not most of it but a good chunk of that is from golden gift box XP scrolls but I don't just go on and buy golden gift boxes just for the scrolls um, it's mostly to get the items as you can see I do have two polalas and I do have warlock's orb now oblivion spear sphere but uh, once I got those um, basically I use I saved a lot of commons and I got a couple rares saved up uh, basically I've been using it only on scroll of XP but then I realized I'm dry on gold so I really need to start using it on gold instead of XP and I want to slow down I don't want to hit 150 that early I mean it's not even the end of the month and it's first month level 130 uh, one or two as I'm making this commentary but um, yeah I guess that's pretty good <laughs> might be some record or something but it's big thanks to golden go foxes I'm definitely gonna be slowing it down a lot um, big thanks to people like Thor, BBFM, been uh, guiding me through like some of the new things I don't know and helping me get the items. As you can see, um, I just need to tell you something about the dual pole Lelas. Uh, basically, I changed into a mage and that's been very helpful as of late. Um, I don't want to go on. Okay, I will. Um, so... I got two pole lalas and five golden gift box openings. They're both ultra rares, and I bought ten. First five, I already got two ultra rares. I was so excited, like I was, I was hyped, so hyped about it. And I changed um, into a mage as quickly as I could, like uh, untrain all my strength and train back all the intellect. Like, and let me tell you, that took forever. That took a good like eight hours in game, but um, it's definitely worth it. Uh, let me just give you a breakdown of why Poalala Mages are better than Dunamis Warriors or Thurned uh, Rangers or whatever. So the biggest thing is that Poalala has an MP upkeep for the guest. Thurnda and Dunamis has, have an SP upkeep. And with that SP upkeep, you can't upkeep many misks that you need to use. Not just that, you're not going to get your normal SP recovery. And because of that, you're really not going to be able to use armor skills. With Polala, you basically get free SP, like you're never going to run out. And the um, thing about Dynamis Warriors is that their armor skills are primarily converted to range damage. So Polala, I mean, Dynamis doesn't actually boost it, but uh, Polala boosts mage armor skills because they're magic. And... Uh, magic armor skills actually get a four divided by three times bonus. I don't know. I think that's what it is, but it's definitely a lot stronger. And with the pole lala boost, I think 
at 200 charisma, Polalo's boost is about 2.48 or 2.42, I'm not sure. And for Dynamis, it's 2.02. So your auto attack warriors are basically just a bit stronger if you're using double Dynamis. But dual Polalo does like compete with that. It's just auto attack is almost as strong. And thing about mages is that you got so much mana you can also cast spells like you got options for that too um so mages have a lot more options are a lot more versatile and they do get this chi shield um from gandalf which is seasonal and that's great and uses mana to block damage and you can win battles without losing any health at all so anyways i just want to get into the uh this orb a lot of people will think it's not the best thing um it's actually pretty good. You'll see. In this battle, every single turn, it drains the enemy's MP. And not just that. When it drains their MP, it also makes it so that they can't heal or regenerate SP. And they're not even allowed to use SP uh, skills when they regenerate it up to the point where it glows yellow, as you can see in some of the battles here um so yeah they can't even use it that's that's so cheap like it locks it for one turn although it doesn't drain it can like slowly but uh it has a really high chance to drain it and and then um they can't even use their sp at all so it's actually really good and underrated not just that it gives you a bonus to your magic blocking uh intellect and luck so it's quite useful for mages only because as an MP upkeep so it's kind of unfortunate for warriors um, rangers might actually be better than warriors now because thunder boosts range and as we all know ranged armor skills will be boosted by thunder which is great um, so yeah sorry for all you warriors uh, I'd suggest um, changing to mage if you don't have another account anyways i did make another character uh recently upgraded to x guardian it's like level nine as i'm making this commentary and basically i'm just gonna make it a dynamis warrior because i already have called dynamis and a bunch of melee weapons um ultra rares and rares from golden gift boxes i'm just gonna transfer over when lockers come out and uh yeah it'll be a pretty nice warrior uh build so I guess that's that. Anyways, as you can see, this quest is very easy. I didn't really use much strategy. And it's basically defend against the element, use the Dragon Blade, except against the Gallon. Don't use the Dragon Blade against that because it has 0% modifier for Void. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and as always.